welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Uh, well, guys, today, uh, the CEO of Pfizer said that its vaccine for the Omicron variant will be ready in March. So get ready for the craziest St. Patrick's Day in the history of the world. <laughs> Omicron. Pretty soon, the CEO of Pfizer is going to be on Instagram Live, like, new vaccine just dropped. Sound off in the comments. What? <laughs> it feels like uh, this March Madness will be filling out brackets to predict uh, which of the 68 variants become the dominant strain. <laughs> uh, listen to this. According to the CDC, only one in 10 adults in the U.S. eat enough fruits and vegetables. Good timing on uh, this new CDC. It sort of feels like their version of, hey, what's over there? <laughs> it's a bird. Look, it's a bird. Yep, the CDC says adults should eat two to three cups of vegetables a day. Uh, wait, now they're saying four to five. No, wait, no, now they're saying only one. Basically, barely one or two. You're fine with one. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I heard that uh, Tesla's self-driving program uh, now offers three different modes that control behaviors, like rolling stops, uh, running yellow lights, and how close you are to follow other drivers. And they have three modes. They're called chill, average, and assertive. And this is fun. You can also hit mood swing and try all three at random. <laughs> uh, and I also heard that some Honda and Acura models have been hit with a bug that resets their clocks 20 years in the past. The company could tell something was up when drivers seemed happy. <laughs> it's crazy. People were driving along, then all of a sudden the radio would only play the Goo Goo Dolls. I get this, I saw that nearly 15,000 pounds of Walmart beef sticks have been recalled because they forgot to label a potential allergen. Yep, Walmart beef sticks must now have a label that says, warning, you're eating Walmart beef sticks. <laughs> wow. oh. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, a supermarket chain in the UK is getting rid of the use-by dates on its milk and encouraging customers to use the sniff test. <laughs> Yep, here's how it works in every house. You grab a cart and immediately go, Honey, does this smell bad to you? <laughs> and finally, a farmer in Turkey is having his cows wear VR goggles that simulate green pastures so that they'll be less anxious. Take a look at this. It's real. Yep, the cow doesn't make any more milk, but it is really good at the new game, Beef Saber. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, today New York, uh, New York City got slammed with an Arctic blast, causing wind chills around zero degrees, uh, making one of uh, New York City's coldest day in years. Yep. You can't see it at home, but right now the entire audience is spooning each other. <laughs> today, even the biggest anti-maskers are like, "Damn it, give me one! All right, just <laughs> give me an N95, too." Yeah, it's that type of cold where the Domino's guy sits on your pizza while delivering it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, this is exciting. Uh, I saw that the Girl Scouts announced a new partnership with DoorDash that will allow their drivers to deliver Girl Scout cookies. Mm. Right now, there's a bunch of 50-year-old drivers like, do I really have to wear the sash? <laughs> All right, I'll give it a I don't know, is it really buying Girl Scout cookies if you're not guilted into ordering as many boxes as your coworkers? <laughs> really, Kelly bought 10 boxes. Eh? Just saying. If you're keeping track, well, we can't get rapid tests to Americans, but do -si dos check. <laughs> we figured that out. Hey, this is fun. The TSA just released its annual list of the weirdest things that they've confiscated. And this year's items include a chainsaw and a burrito filled with meth. Oh. Yep. Someone fl tried flying with a chainsaw. <laughs> In fairness, uh, how else can you cut through the chicken on a United flight? <laughs> it looks a little tough. You want to bite of my burrito? <laughs> well, the pandemic has caused all kinds of shortages around the world, but Norway's military is dealing with a very unique one. Check this out. Norway's military faces an extraordinary problem, a shortage of undergarments. At the end of their service, recruits must now turn in their underwear, bras, and socks so that the next group of service members can reuse them. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Whether it's the Norwegian military or Norwegian cruises, they have the same slogan, you're gonna need extra underwear. <laughs> uh, I think this is why the military invented going commando. <laughs> What's that? Lifetime Achievement Award? <laughs> That's fantastic, thank you. Oh, you're not airing it on TV or streaming it? Oh, okay, I won't say anything. But anyways, thank you very much. Oh, no, thank you, thank you. Wow. For those two jokes. Amazing, yeah. And for that, just for that one, I think. Just for the one joke, the commander yeah. joke? Yeah. Man, good for you. No, no. Not cool. Thank you very much. Hey, guys, get this. Hulk Hogan's under a lot of fire after he suggested that, that the COVID vaccine is to blame for the recent deaths of some of our biggest celebrities. As a result, Hulk Hogan has been named the heavyweight champion of Facebook. <laughs> Now, you're laughing now, but if Trump's re-elected, he's the new Dr. Fauci. <laughs> there was a new episode of The Bachelor last night. You guys watched The Bachelor? I, I uh, there was a pretty dramatic scene between two women, uh, Shanae and Elizabeth. Now, the show can uh, get pretty emotional, and I thought that we could help. Here's, here's that moment revoiced with the least emotional person we know, Siri. This is Let's Get Serious. <laughs> I thought you and I were on the same page yesterday. We were not on the same page yesterday. So is it your ADHD? Or is it me that you have a problem with? I think this is really inappropriate, Shanae. So are you telling everyone in the house you have ADHD? You already brought it to the attention of the girls. I didn't tell anyone you have ADHD. I have ADHD. You absolutely did tell. I mean, bleep. Little kids have ADHD. Okay? And I think you're using that as an excuse. I really don't appreciate how you're coming at me, and if you'd like to apologize to me, I'll do so, but unfortunately, Listen. I'm not going to engage in this conversation with you anymore. Okay, well, I'm just saying, like, I have ADHD, too. <laughs> Very, a lot of drama there. Uh, well, some more entertainment news. ABC just announced that after a three-year hiatus, this year's Oscars will have a host. Unfortunately, it's Hulk Hogan. Oh. <laughs> the Oscar brother goes... To... <laughs> you guys hear about this? A federal judge just ruled that U.S. cheesemakers can still make Gruyere cheese, even if it doesn't come from the Gruyere region of Switzerland. Yep. However, the judge said Velveeta still must come from the Velveeta region <laughs> of France. <laughs> France, France, New Jersey. That's right. <laughs> hey, if this cheese case is appealed, uh, it could be heard by the Nacho Supreme Court. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry, what? Hold on a second. Another Lifetime Achievement Award? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This one will stream. Oh, my gosh. So people will... S it's on Quibi. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Wow. You won't believe... What a, w what a, w what a night I've had. Wow. Uh, finally, a woman in Canada was just reunited with her cat when it turned up at her shelter 12 years after going missing. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cat was like, what the hell do I have to do to get away from this lady? <laughs> Today is National Pharmacist Day. <laughs> yeah. To celebrate, uh, pharmacists everywhere were like, a Pfizer shot for you and a tequila shot for me. <laughs> and here we go. Let's keep it. If you want to do something nice for your pharmacist, uh, you can stop asking them if they have any more COVID tests in the back. Everything we have is out. <laughs> Speaking of COVID tests, uh, the state of Florida let a million COVID tests expire in a warehouse. But, but now the FDA has decided to extend the expiration dates. <laughs> When they heard that, every New York hot dog vendor is like, is that really safe to do that? Because... <laughs> yeah, the FDA just extended the expiration date, so when they heard that, the CDC said, uh, hey, making up rules as you go is our thing. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Florida was like, you can put any date on them if you want. We're still not going to use them. We don't care. We don't... <laughs> I get this. I saw that uh, great schools in Massachusetts are using dogs to sniff out COVID. So if the dog starts barking, either you have COVID or Lunchables. <laughs> but good news, uh, if, uh, if this works, the White House plans to mail everyone in the U.S. a COVID dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So that's kind of cool.
Uh, yesterday, former President Trump hung up during an interview with NPR. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> After being challenged on his baseless election fraud claims, of course, it's not the first time Trump's hung up on a phone call. I mean, we actually got a hold of some audio from other ones. Really? But yeah, let's take a listen to these. Hello? Mr. President, this is the manager of Beach Bum Tanning. You've been in the bed for eight hours, and we're just wondering... Hello? Mr. President, this is Domino's. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of cheesy bread, but if you'd like to exchange that for maybe a, a side salad, we could... Hello? Hi, Dad. It's Eric. Wow. Quick to the trigger on that. Wow. Switching gears, researchers found that Netflix has continued to produce content that shows people smoking, despite making a pledge that they would stop. People don't want Netflix to glorify addiction while they watch five hours of Netflix every night. <laughs> Netflix is like, we, we had a doll mow down 300 people in Squid Game. You're drawing the line at smoking? <laughs> well, listen to this. I saw that the Oscars are going to have a host for the first time in four years. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, it turns out a lot of celebrities are interested in the job, and we actually got our hands on some leaked audio of their auditions. Here, take a look at this. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe I'm hosting the Oscars right now. This is so crazy. Okay, so, like, here are the nominees for Best Kiss. Oh, no. I don't think that's an award. Kissing's, like, pretty tight, though. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, this is just... Wow. Look at these bright lights. Oh, my wow. God, those little statues. Wow. 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 Great to be here on Hollywood's Biggest Night, brother. I read on Facebook that wireless printers give you COVID. Also, those Applebee's buzzers, too. Anyways, the nominees for Best Technical Direction in a short film are, brother. Wow. wow. <laughs> Some business news. Apparently, DirecTV and Dish Network are, once again, in talks to merge. Yeah, it's taking a while to reach a deal because neither of them work when it's raining. <laughs> That's right. Uh, DirecTV and Dish Network might merge, and if they do, uh, maybe they'll be named uh, Forbes' most powerful company of 2003. <laughs> hey, I heard that Domino's said this year it's expecting unprecedented food cost increases. Meanwhile, Papa John's was like, as long as ketchup prices stay low, we're fine. <laughs> oh, come on. He's not watching. And finally, a pub owner in Ireland is so tired of hearing about COVID that he's making any customer who mentions the virus put two euros in the COVID jar. <laughs> yeah, not, not to be confused with the other COVID jar, a bowl of communal peanuts. <laughs> the big news from Washington today is President Biden finally delivered a major update on his administration's COVID response. Yeah, just like most phone updates, Biden kept hitting ignore until he had no choice. He's like, all right, let's just update. Give me a Kilimanjaro, whatever it's called. That's right. Biden announced the U.S. will soon make high-quality masks available to all Americans and to be sure that everyone wears them, uh, here are the new masks. It's Spidey, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Spidey. We'll all do that. That's right. We're all getting masks. Last year, we got, uh, 1200 bucks. This year... <laughs> cloth and a rubber band. You know? Yeah, I'll take it. The White House says N95 masks are the most protective. Uh, which is too bad, because I assume the bedazzled ones that I bought on Etsy were 100% COVID-proof. <laughs> I watched it a couple times. Yeah, the N95 mask should be helpful, unfortunately, out of habit. Whenever somebody says N95, Biden calls out, Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke of the week. Ah, that's the joke of the week. That's the one. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. I read that uh, researchers in Finland created a nasal spray that they say can protect you from all COVID variants for eight hours. <laughs> when asked about breathing through your mouth, the company was like, ugh. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> oh, you're one of those people. <laughs> well, this is big news today. Buckingham Palace announced that Queen Elizabeth has stripped Prince Andrew of all his royal affiliations. That's right, she stripped Prince Andrew, making her far and away the oldest woman to ever strip Prince Andrew. <laughs> that might be oh, the that joke. Might be. That might be the joke. That might be the joke. <laughs>
Joke of the week. Week, week, week. Go, 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 go. Go joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, finally, a, a city in California wants to use green lasers to try and drive away thousands of crows that have become a public nuisance. But the lasers will backfire when thousands of crows are replaced by thousands of cats. <laughs> well, guys, uh, let's kick things off with some good news. Uh, according to a new study, face masks actually make people look more attractive. <laughs> so when I say this is a hot crowd, I really yeah. mean it. I mean, it's, just, it's a hot crowd. That's right, you're more attractive with the mask and you get the bonus of doing a sexy little striptease on your face. Oh. Here you <laughs> Some news from Washington. Uh, today, President Biden announced a $27 billion program to repair and replace bridges across the country. So if your city is celebrating right now, you should be happy and terrified. But when Biden's staff found him looking at pictures of bridges, they were like, don't do it, sir. You can't trust the poll numbers. <laughs> Some more political news. The Republican Party said that they might not let their nominees take part in future presidential debates. Instead, they want candidates to uh, knock each other off giant rubber balls like the game show Wipeout. <laughs> uh, it'll be too bad we if we scrap the debates. I'll miss watching 90 minutes of Chris Wallace saying, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Seriously, it's a shame. I mean, how else are we going to get high-level political discourse like this? Excuse number me, one. Chris. Wait. Number two. Chris. Number three. They said they, it would they, take... They, no, you were number two. No. <laughs> Listen to this. Apparently, Walgreens and CVS are shutting down some of their pharmacies on weekends due to staffing shortages. That's not good. Now, when you go to CVS, there's a self-booster station. <laughs> it's just a needle sticking out of the blood pressure machine. <laughs> Put your, arms in, you put your arms in two sleeves now. You can tell CVS values the pharmacist uh, they do have because they keep them locked in the same plastic case as the razor blades and Sudafed. <laughs> hey, the NFL playoffs start tomorrow, and I heard that uh, the Bills-Patriots game in Buffalo could be one of the coldest playoff games ever with a wind chill of minus 15 degrees. You'll know it's cold when the players huddle up and just stay there. Meanwhile, ESPN host and former NFL linebacker Bart Scott said the best thing for players to do before a cold weather game, this is real, is to take Viagra to get their, <laughs> to get their blood pumping. <laughs> if you go into the locker room after the game, it looks like the wand shop from Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just... Abracadabras. <laughs> But remember, if the game lasts for more than four hours, you got to call your ah. doctor. Ah, you know. <laughs> but this is... Thank you. But this is true. The wind chilled in Buffalo could be minus 15. It's going to be freezing. Check out the signs that fans are bringing to the game. This first one says, Wait, this is also on TV? What the F am I doing here? <laughs> this next one says, Temperature minus 15 degrees, me plus 15 beers. <laughs> and finally, this one says, If you dump Gatorade on the coach, he will die. <laughs> Keep an eye out for those. Well, everyone's really excited about this. Uh, the, today, the fifth Scream movie hit theaters. Yet the franchise features the most terrifying villain, uh, someone who always calls instead of just texting. <laughs> hey, I read that due to a shortage of PlayStation 5s, Sony is just going to make more PlayStation 4s. It's like the guy at Subway saying, we ran out of new ham, so I'm just going to give you uh, old ham. <laughs> but if you have kids, here's what you do. You put the PS4 in a PS3 box. That way, they'll be disappointed, but also happily surprised. <laughs> and finally, a tortoise that lives on a British island has been declared the oldest ever at 190 years old. The tortoise is so old, he takes Viagra just to get his neck out of his shell. <laughs> 